In June 2022, Bayern Munich made headlines by announcing the signing of Sadio Mane. The club's president, Herbert Heiner, highlighted this deal as a testament to Bayern's gravitational pull and the attractiveness of the Bundesliga. However, just a year later, Mane, who was expected to be a transformative superstar, departed the club, having made little impact, both on the team and in the league. So, what happened to Sadio Mane? Context is indeed crucial. When Mane joined Bayern Munich, he was already 30 years old and had played over 60 games for both Liverpool and Senegal combined during the previous season. Moreover, it was his fifth consecutive season participating in over 50 matches, many of which demanded high physical intensity under Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. Additionally, Bayern had recently sold Robert Lewandowski, a record-setting goalscorer and the focal point of the attack for the past decade. Mane was embarking on a new journey of Bayern and the club itself was undergoing a transition. However, Mane's debut in competitive football showed promise. Despite the German Super Cup in August 2022, Bayern defeated Leipzig 5-3, displaying impressive attacking fluency, with Mane even scoring his first goal for the club. Rather than being a direct replacement for Lewandowski, Mane was brought in as a versatile forward, expected not only to score goals, but also to enhance the performance of other attacking players, such as Kingsley Coman, Jamal Musiala, Serge Gnabry and Leroy Sane. After their initial success, Bayern continued their winning streak by thrashing Eintracht Frankfurt and Bochum, and easily defeating Wolfsburg, with Mane featuring either as a number 9 or as part of the front 2 formation. However, their momentum began to wane as summer turned to autumn. Bayern experienced draws with Gladbach and losses to Augsburg, and in both matches, Mane showed signs of struggling to adapt to Nagelsmann 4 2 3 1 formation, which differed from Klopp's 4 3 3 system. While Mane's best performances for Liverpool often revolved around the unique abilities of Falstein Roberto Firmino, Bayern lacked an equivalent player. At times, they even expected Mane to fulfil a similar role to Firmino. Mane's evolving role is evident in a data set comparing his last season in England with his first in Germany. This data highlights the adjustment in his game, with a great emphasis on him being a creator and being more progressive with the ball at his feet. Following the defeat to Augsburg, Nagelsmann made another change by shifting Mane to the left wing and selecting Eric Maxim Schupermolting as the number nine instead. Subsequently, Mane scored only four more goals in the Bundesliga between October and May, marking his lowest league goal tally since the 2011-12 season at Metz when he was a teenager. A contributing factor was an injury to his fibula in November, which sidelined him for nine Bundesliga games, and also prevented him from participating in the World Cup. These absences makes his raw statistics misleading. In his last season in the Premier League, Mane averaged 0.51 goals per 90 minutes. During the 2022-23 Bundesliga season, adjusted to reflect the actual time spent on that pitch. This fell slightly to 0.44 goals per 90. However, despite this relatively minor drop in statistical output, the perception of underperformance lingered. The lack of pure goal volume compared unfavourably with Lewandowski, leading to unhelpful comparison. Additionally, Mane appeared to struggle with the squad dynamics at Bayern, contributing to his challenges during his time at the club. Throughout much of his Liverpool career, Mane had been a guaranteed starter. However, in Germany, this was not the case. Essentially, Bayern had signed a player without a clear role for him in the team. Additionally, they had many players who could fulfil the same positions as him, either as a forward or as a wide midfielder, leading to uncertainty and difficulties for Mane. Then club CEO Oliver Kahn commented, stating that Mane is not used to the type of competition for places we have here. It wasn't like that at Liverpool. The real issue surfaced in the spring of 2023. Mane was only utilised as a late substitute in the last 16 tie with PSG. While reports of an outright rift with Nagelsmann were exaggerated, there were suggestions that Mane found aspects of the more technical coaching unfavourable. In March 2023, Nagelsmann was dismissed and replaced by Thomas Tuchel, but this change had little effect on Mane. In fact, his season quickly deteriorated further. Following Bayern's 3-0 defeat to Man City in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals, Mane punched teammate Leroy Sane after a disagreement that began on the pitch. Bayern suspended him and fined him €250,000. Although Mane was reintegrated, his position continued to shift under Tuchel. He played on the left of a 4-1-4-1 formation, up front alongside Thomas Müller in a 3-1-4-2, and is alone forwards in a 4-2-3-1. However, Mane completed 90 minutes in the Bundesliga just once before the end of the season, 
struggling for a sustained momentum. Despite unexpectedly winning the Bundesliga, Bayern's success made little difference to an increasingly negative media cycle surrounding Mane. Furthermore, on the day, their title was confirmed, and sporting director and CEO of Bayern, both responsible for signing Mane, were dismissed. Bayern were undergoing remodelling in a way that didn't necessarily include him. As pre-season for the 2023-24 season began, Tuchel made it clear that this was the case. Days later, Mane even snapped at a local reporter, taking issues with the tone of their previous coverage. You are killing me every day, and now you want me to talk to you guys, he said, declining an interview request. This incident characterised the tensions and suggested that his time at Bayern had reached a breaking point. It was of little surprise, then, when it was announced that a lucrative deal with Saudi Arabian side Al Nassar had been agreed upon, and after just 13 months, Bayern and Mane were bound for divorce. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more football content.